Hello everyone. Today's session is about Active Directory and Active Directory integration. So as a service provider, most of the time for the default tenant, that's you. Um, so a lot of the time you, you just use the LDAP to connect to an Active Directory that's local to the center stack server. You know, local means in the same local area network. So if you can click on the config Active Directory, you can see the server in the local area network and the credential to connect to it and other parameters you have set up for the Active Directory integration. So this is one way of doing so. So now as a service provider, you may be starting uh, adding a tenant. A tenant is like an organization, a company, like a client of, you, of yours. And that client of yours, they have Active Directory, but their Active Directory could be remote in their building away from the center stack server and away from your infrastructure in the data center here. So then what should we do? So now today's session is about this specific uh, case that the Active Directory is in a remote location, but we want to connect in so we can continue to use the Active Directory user credentials and Active Directory identities. So because the session is focused on the Active Directory, so we are creating a new tenant here and then we just give it all the default settings so we can quickly create a test client. So as now we created the ACME test client. So the default tenant is me and the ACME client uh, is a remote um, client of mine and I want to help them set up the, uh, the Active Directory integration. So we need to use the server agent. So the server agent is capable of proxy over the Active Directory authentications and the identities. So you can connect remotely to the remote building, remote location without punching holes on the firewall. So you don't, we don't need to use LDAP anymore. Everything will be traversed over HTTPS. So now um, we use a different uh, color theme. So, you know, we can tell that it's different from the other user. And first we need to install a server agent on the remote location. So I'm here in my data center. So away from the customer's prem. So I need to start a go to meeting so that I can, I can, um, have them set up the server agent. So I start a go to meeting remote meeting. So to help my client. Or you can have one of your system admin, you know, go there and or you know, remote control using lab tech, screen connect, or team viewer, different kind of remote control ways to uh, set it up. So for now, we are using GoToMeeting. So we have Joe here. So um, switch to Joe being the presenter, so we can help them set up the server agent. So now Joe's in the session now. And Joe is going to connect to the same center stack server under his account. And he needs to log in. So after login, he will need to download the server agent. So make sure he downloads the server agent as the tenant admin. The, ad the server agent belongs to the whole company, the, you know, the company, the tenant, the organization, whatever the term here is, but the server agent scope belongs to the company scope. So run it as the administrator. And the server agent has a dependency on the .NET 2 framework. So let's do a quick check. .NET 2 and the .NET 3.5 are the same thing. So in a Windows 2012 machine, you just 
make sure that .NET 3.5 is installed and then that's all good to go. That's the prerequisite. So let's run it and it's a very quick installation. It's a cloud server agent on the remote system helping synchronize the folders and Active Directory credentials. So it's rebooting. Um, Joe has set it up and it's rebooting. And after reboot, he's going to log in to the server agent. And once that that's done, you know, uh, we don't really need to go back to the server agent anymore. You can just run in the background as a background service. Uh, we just connect to it now. So we don't need the set you know, meeting anymore. Joe has set it up and he can go back to his normal work and then we can take over from here. So now you can see we can do import user from Active Directory via server agent. So we have users from Active Directory and then the CenterSec server is here. The server agent is over there and the two can work together to make the remote Active Directory work. So you don't have to punch holes over um, L, you know, LDAP back to a you know, remote location. So you can see the these users are from the Active Directory. So Active Directory users are showing up. So let's just quickly create one. And we can do all the default settings. That's recommended. And accept everything as default. And you can see the user was created and the user is labeled proxied AD user. So that's a sign that user is coming from remote location. Thank you.